So as a CEO of a biotech company, which also deals with a lot of information, I am tasked to keep myself up to date. So that's the biggest challenge I face every day. And for that to happen, I'm in touch with numerous analysts, scientists, and CEOs across the globe. And I have developed this network through, of course, LinkedIn. And uh, when you stay in an industry for 17 years, well, that happens. So I was talking to one of the analysts this morning uh, in US and um, she shared me some beautiful insights about how a biotech CEO in US thinks compared to how, you know, a biotech CEO in India thinks. And the same thing I will help you out on your, you know, career, how you should think. So what she said is a biotech CEO in US thinks of, uh, you know, investing in uh, those sectors for research, which is investor friendly, safe, as well as has a big market in the future. So I asked, okay, what's that? And she told me around you know, five to six names. So I'll tell you that a little later. So now I want to apply the same thing into your career now. So think like a CEO of a biotech company, he will invest in something which has got a future market, which is a safe bet and will definitely grow in the future. Okay. So the same way when you are applying this theory, into your career, you have to invest on those skill set, which is going to grow in the future. That means it's definitely going to grow in the future. And at the same time, ha nothing much has been done today. Okay, so that's something which uh, she told me that nothing but much has been done today. But in the next 10 years, a lot of things will be done in this field. And uh, it has definitely got a future market. Okay. So when you apply the same thing to yourself as a bio professional is okay. You have to invest in two things. If you want to grow, you know, increase the scope of your career. And the first is develop your skill set in that direction, which has got a definite uh, demand in the future biotech market. That's the first. And the second, nothing much has been done till date in that particular field. You know, after listening to that, I asked her, okay, so I, I buy your thought, whatever you said, I agree. So now tell me, which are those fields? She, she said something which was really insightful. She said, you have uh, stem cells, you have synthetic biology, you have genome editing, you have um, a lot of bioinformatics uh, field. So these are five, six areas she told me, probably I'll make a separate video on that. So here is something which I wanted to tell you. If you are investing your career on some skill set, which is going to be definitely in demand in the future biotech market, but currently nothing much has been done, means you can easily get in. For example, I'll tell you, uh, what's the qualification of a journalist of today? So like anybody wants to become a journalist in say NDTV or any big channel. So they will have, they'll have to really do journalism as a you know degree. But back in the day in 1980s, when, you know, television was still forming, uh, you know, masters in English, Mr. Ravish Kumar got in and today he's one of the biggest journalists. He didn't do journalism, right? But he got, became a journalist one of the best journalists, right? The same way. So because there's nothing much in journalism that time, today it is. So he invested his time in, in the, invested his time in that, he became a journalist, right? So today, nothing much has been done in stem cells. Uh, truly speaking, I think there is too much scope and too much investments are going to get attracted because stem cells is the core of regenerative medicine and the future is of regenerative medicine, no doubt about it. So let's look at that. Another example I'll tell you is the Chief of um, the Research and Analysis Wing, uh, RAW, uh, Mr. Kao. So RN Kao, Ramnath Kao was his name. He was a Kashmiri Pandit, migrated to um, Varanasi. I was today only I was reading about him. So, you know, he didn't had a you know degree in anything or forensic science or something. He only had a you know um, getting into IAS in those days in 1930s was very easy. He got in there and he was at the right place at the right time. Okay, and that's how he became the head founding member of 
RAW, which is a research analysis wing. So same way, if you want to become a founding member or a founding team, uh, founder of a company or in stem cells, I think now is the time to invest in your career. Now, why do I say that? Because nothing much has been done in stem cells, but at the same time, a lot of research and it is an established market because in future regenerative medicine is going to be a very big market because a lot of people lose their limbs or you know because of accident or something maybe a kidney transplant stuff like that you can create it in your lab and give it in the hands of the patient it is uh, so whatever is today a uh, organ transplant market will become a sure shot stem cell and regenerative medicine market right and if you have done research in that all the future companies of uh, 2030 2035 are going to hire you or who knows if you have you know done something amazing you will be the person who will be heading a company like how jennifer doudna is doing or her counterpart is doing so here's a point which i want to make if you want to grow in your career if you want to grow your the, the scope of your career you have to invest on two things okay invest on something which is a safe bet of the future but at the same time nothing much has been done today so that you become the founding member of that particular field itself and if you ask me stem cells is one such, one such thing stem cells and regenerative medicine is a sure shot solid highly scopic field and that's the reason biotechnica experts in collaboration with various stem cell scientists have created this course the link is in the description we are launching it today itself this particular stem cells uh, exclusive course regenerative medicine exclusive course has been uh, created by scientists from us uk as well as india and our own faculty members as well and we invite you to you know go ahead and go through the course modules and if you are interested to make a career in stem cells if you are interested to you know build a grand career in stem cells i think the start is here today now, like I always say in all my videos, you have to start from A to reach Z. You can't just keep dreaming that one day you will reach Z, right? So you have to make the first step. You have to take the first step. So make the decision today. Stem cells and regenerative medicine is a solid, scopic, future-proof market which is going to grow definitely. And this is not just me saying. There are many stem cells experts who have time and again banked this thought. So go on, guys. Enroll into this course. The link is given in the description. And if you are enrolling today, there is a 50% discount going on right now. So do not delay about this. Now coming to the other side of the scope part, which I just said. So yeah, you need to generate your scope. See, no field will have a scope. For example, in 1950, there was no scope for a spy, right? But once uh, Dr. R.N. Kao came, RAW was created so now a lot of people be, can become uh, spies same way uh, a food scientist to the you know forensic scientist that was never there but today it is there so the professions of the future the seed for that profession of the future has to be sown today and you can be that seed if you pursue your research in that direction so all those students who are in their bachelors as well as their masters remember one thing field as such won't have a scope it is you who make your own scope because your career matters your scope matters so you have to expand the scope of your own career by doing things which is future proof which is a solid market and you can be the founding member so i think you should think like a ceo of a biotech company and invest your time and energy into this field so with these thoughts i'll leave you with uh, some pondering questions i know you have put them down in the comment section i would love to take them and if you want to talk to me directly you can always schedule a meeting or reach out to me at shaker at biotechnica.org remember your success is our achievement because today's empowered student is going to be the influential solid scientist of the future see you soon in the next one till then take care Bye bye